Hello Aquarius, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and um, I'm just hopping on here to do a final week of uh, 2023 reading uh, for you, general reading, so can't resonate for everyone. Um, so let's see what comes out for you Aquarius. Um, there was a bit of a mix yesterday for Earth signs. Um, Capricorn had a bit of a dense reading but actually there's a lot of hope for moving forward for Taurus and Virgo so if you've got any um, significant placements in Taurus and Virgo then it uh, looks like this week might be quite an interesting one for you there's a real shift in perspective here so um, let's see what happens to my air signs this week so Aquarius If you do enjoy this reading, um, do um, tap the like button, would really help with engagement um, and uh, get me a little bit of attention from the algorithm. <laughs> okay. Well, this is interesting because nothing seems to want to come out, which is interesting for you, Aquarius, because um, it could be that, you know, there are sort of delays or things that need to be said that aren't being said. Here we go, okay. So, starting off with the Three of Cups, which is, you know, we're in holiday mode at the moment, most of us, many of us. Um, let's make some progress yeah I yeah I, I was feeling because you know because the, the, the three of cups is is broadly a really joyful card it's a card of celebration it's a card of um, people coming together um, but there's also a, there's a character here that is a bit um, deceitful she's holding something back and so I, I just wonder whether you know you're sort of experiencing Either you're feeling a little bit like the outsider in a group, perhaps in your family, around friends, and, you know, it could be feeling just that this is a little bit of a struggle for you. Um, with Leo here. So you're having to dig quite deep to, you know, kind of get into the Christmas spirit. You might be feeling a little bit mistrustful as well of what people are telling you. I just can't get away from that character. She just looks a bit, well, she's a bit two-faced, isn't she? You know, that there's somebody there who is you know everyone else is coming to the table in a kind of spirit of joy and celebration but she's kind of just holding something back well you've got more leo here um with the sun and there's fast growth here as well this is quite a strange reading but a lot of Leo. So it could be that there's a Leo around you and they can be quite flamboyant characters. Maybe maybe that you're just feeling a little bit um, that somebody's overshadowing you. You know, that somebody's kind of going all, all in with the, da-da, it's me. And you're feeling a bit, a bit, yeah, but what about me? <laughs> um this is a really weird reading, Aquarius. The moon just flashed me there, but it didn't want to come out. Um, but it's almost like, you know, when you see the sun, it didn't want to come out, but there we are, it comes out. Yeah, so we've got the sun here and we've got the moon underneath. I wonder if there's a bit of a facade going on here because there's a truth that needs to be exposed. Because the moon is about 
deception and secrets and the dark, the sun about the light. There's a deceptive, uh, just can't get away from it. There's something deceptive going on here for you, Aquarius. And, you know, and I, I feel like it's, I, I feel as though it's coming into the light. I feel it's, it's, it's almost as though <clears throat> you have always had an inkling or you have known, but other people have not. have not seen it or have not wanted to see it for what it is. Could be a difficulty. I just heard siblings, so it could it could be that there's a there's an issue with a sibling that you're and that are not behaving well but are very good at masking it are very good at um showing the world the face that the world wants to see what are we going into here yeah yeah the, the emperor so you know aries energy you're standing in your truth and your power we've got a lot of major arcana here so this could be almost a sort of lifetime of um you know sort of a lifetime of you knowing deep down this situation is not good and but not really having at that validation but you're getting that validation now you're going to see some somebody is going to be seen for who they truly are and that's and and, and that feels like it's very important because you know we have we have that 3 of cups but we have that you know, we literally have it surrounded by major arcana. And there's and there's a lot of you know anxiety around this. And and conflict as well. There's a panel at the bottom of this bed which is quite hard to see, but there's people fighting underneath. So there's a real mixed feelings, I think, about about whatever this is coming out, because it just feel, it feels really odd. Um, but it's secrets revealed, and it's big secrets. It's big secrets. It's underlying secrets. It's something that where I think you have felt very... Um, misunderstood, not believed... And now it's coming to light. So we've got what we've got Pisces, we've got Leo, we've got Aries here. And these are these are kind of very big energies. What was that one that wanted to flip and didn't? Yeah. But I think I think you know the whatever's going on here Aquarius there's this um you're kind of coming out of this okay somebody's not but you are it's almost just I, I I feel as though there's an energy of oh now we see it we now we see what we were up to, what this person was up to. Now, now we understand what your reservations were. And I think there's almost a sense as well, Aquarius, that you, and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, so there's a new truth here, um, a truth which, re which replaces an old truth that wasn't really a truth. But I, I feel as though there's suddenly a sort of recognition of you, of, of, of what you have been saying all this time. Is, was, it was right. And it's almost like you're being welcomed back into the fold. Whatever family means to you, whether it's friends, whether it's your, you know, people can get 
can be very involved with their work colleagues and or their um or, or your actual biological family, you know, whatever this is for you, Aquarius, if this is resonating for you, I feel like there's a new truth and it's it's really favourable for you, but it's much less favourable for someone else. And there is some pain attached to it because it's almost, but it's a, it's a kind of, it's a relief. It's a, you know, now I'm believed, now I'm being believed. This is the weirdest reading I've done for a really long time, Aquarius, but I'm going to put it up because it's for somebody. Um, but it's really strange. There's so much kind of, kind of deception here and collective self-deception. But there's there's definitely some things coming to light here. And this is karmic as well, because when you get the sun and the moon in a reading, it's, you know, you're really looking at kind of very karmic energies. So it couldn't have come to light until now. Well, that's intriguing. If you know what this is all about, Aquarius, do drop me a line in the um, in in the comments section because I'm like completely baffled by this. But I'm just going to say it anyway. So anyway, um, Aquarius, uh, if uh, I hope this was um, helpful to whoever needed to see it, and um, happy New Year. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happy New Year. Uh, bye bye now.